I used to be terrible at speaking in front of the camera or actually any public speaking. If I had to go in front of the class and do a presentation, I would rather die. <laughs> Fast forward to today, I don't have any problem with speaking in front of the camera and since then I have learned lots of things which I will share with you today and to make it even more genuine, I'll try not to cut out any fuck-ups or mistakes I do so that you can see how it actually is for me to record these long-form videos. It is fucking hot outside so I am sweating like a pig excuse me for that one but it is 36 degrees right now in Dubai so it's very hot plus I wanted to have this nice backdrop so I'm recording this outside and I'm sweating so much as you can see so I do apologize for that but at least the view is nice you know first I'll give you six personal tips that I have learned and then an actionable plan with steps to get better at speaking in front of the camera. Tip number one is to write a script or bullet points. It comes in handy especially when the topic is complicated because if you don't understand the topic fully you're not gonna do any good. Thank you, thank you for that. <laughs> Some birds are just attacking me right now. For my short form content, I always write a script. Partially it's due to the fact that I need to keep them short, so I don't want any unnecessary words in there. But still, when scripting, you're gonna understand if you really understand the topic or no. And it's gonna come in handy when you're gonna try to record the video because so many times I have tried to say something but then I understand that I don't even have the right words for it or I don't even understand it fully myself and it's a big problem if you want to record videos like this. Don't rush it, don't be too formal, try being yourself and let your body speak and move around. So don't be stiff, you know get comfy for a longer video like this one. For example, right now, I'm not really comfortable because it's very hot. Okay, I'm sitting on the ground, but still. <laughs> Joke more, let your personality out. All of these things are gonna help you in building your confidence and in the videos being more genuine and actually more entertaining, you know? Like even if you are making educational videos, you can still let in some jokes, you know, joke around a bit and show your personality still, which is what I try to do in my videos. Over time, you'll feel more and more confident and relaxed in front of the camera. Third tip, don't yap too much to get your point across. You know, I could be expanding on this topic and just telling more and more, but you understood from the first sentence what to do so I don't need to do all of that especially for short form try to keep it as concise as possible and if you feel like this sentence doesn't give anything to the video just delete it record on the days when you have a good mood this is a big one because if you're not gonna be in the mood for recording then the videos aren't gonna be good you know you're gonna be pissed faster you're not gonna joke around, you're not gonna have that playful mood. I always try to record on the days when I feel good. So the more obstacles you'll have, the harder it's gonna be for you to record the video and you're not gonna seem as confident in front of the camera. Also what I like to do, sometimes to get in the zone of recording videos, I like to watch other creators on YouTube. So if I want to be in this giddy, playful mood, then I'll watch someone like Tyler, the creator. Tyler, you are Tyler the... Masturbator. Uh, he used to be like a proper, not prankster, but he used to do like comedy skits and all of that thing. And he has such a personality. So, you know, watching him, I open up myself and 
I step into this uh, playful character. Be yourself, even if you are mellow and chill like me. I remember filming my first videos and the people said that I was too chill. Well, first of all, that's me. That's just the way I am. And second of all, I'm not gonna be pretending to be someone else. You know, back in the day it was popular to be a loud YouTuber and I never felt comfortable doing that. Like, I couldn't squeeze that out of myself. So, I never actually did it. And now the times have changed that people understood you don't have to be like that to create content. You can be yourself, you know. Other mellow or chill people are gonna watch your content or anyone in general is gonna watch your content and fuck with you anyways. On the other hand, remember that when you are recording a video of yourself speaking and from a scale of one to 10, it felt like your energy was seven. In reality, when watching it back, it's gonna be more like five. It does feel more intense in real life and there are many times when I have watched back some of my content which I recorded and I thought to myself that I should have put in more enthusiasm or like express myself more. So what about the times when you feel that something that you said or did was cringy? You can just cut it out. I have done it a couple of times, especially in vlogs when I had some cringy reaction or I just talked too much, you know, yapped, had the yapping session. You can always just cut it out. But it's better to record more and to have it than not to have the confidence to record at all. So now, the final part of the video, action step by step on what you can do to improve speaking in front of the camera. First and the most obvious one is gonna be daily practice. So what I actually did I didn't start vlogging, but I started filming these Instagram stories where I talk in front of the camera. So I had never done it. And I remember I tried to film a story for like 20 times until I did one that was okay to post. Probably if I would watch it now, it would be cringy as fuck, but yeah, at least I posted it. And, did, and that was the first step of my journey to improving or actually starting to speak in front of the camera. So you could just take 10 minutes out of your day to record a couple of Instagram stories or actually vlog and document your life. You know, that would be the first step. The second step is by starting in a comfortable environment and then slowly building up. So the more distractions you're gonna have the harder it's gonna be so if you want to start talking in front of the camera don't go out in the public where there's lots of people watching you and listening to you it's gonna be hard as fuck so just be at your safe environment at home try speaking in front of the camera then the next step could be going out and speaking with your uh, just documenting something with your closer friends try recording with a script or some pointers. So right now I have some pointers and I have expanded on some pointers as well. So it's almost like a script, but not really. So the fact that this isn't my first language, plus sometimes I don't know what to say immediately. So it's sometimes a bit hard for me to put like a story together. So I always try to script videos or at least write down some pointers like right now. For this one, I wanted to show you how it's actually for me to record. So I try to just write down a couple of pointers which are helping me a lot because I would be sitting here for such a longer time if I didn't do them. Be surrounded by people doing a similar thing and that will help you a lot. So my day to day, I am surrounded by content creation every single day. Like I am filming vlogs with Mike, I'm filming a podcast, you know, I'm doing videos all the time and creating content for myself. Plus in Dubai, there's lots of content creators. So it's normal and an obvious thing for me. Shooting content is, 
it's a normal thing for me but there will be places where it's not as common so it would be harder for you but you could try making some friends with people that actually create content and go out with them and you're gonna feel so much more comfortable and normal speaking to a camera because sometimes it does feel a bit weird you know even now there's there are people passing by and they, all of them are watching what I'm doing here plus you cannot record in many places in Dubai so you know I have some distractions and stuff like that which makes me feel a bit uncomfortable but still I'm gonna do it because I need to do it the final one is to review and analyze watch it what watch it back yourself and share it with your friends so from watching back my content I have improved my speech a lot by acknowledging the filler words like um oh or like like is a big one and I always start my sentences with so when vlogging which is annoying I'm trying to delete that from my vocabulary <laughs> I'm still working on all of this but I feel like I have improved a lot since I started uh, doing content in English overall. Also, my English has improved drastically. Even Mike and the other people around me have said it. The thing with me is that I hate when I say words with the in incorrect pronunciation. So it actually makes me cringe when I say something wrong. So that kind of makes me improve over time. Now that I am back in Dubai, I'll be focusing on YouTube more. And actually, my brother is gonna be flying to Dubai very soon. And we're gonna try creating uh, more YouTube videos for you guys. See you soon in the next video.